Today we're going to create a custom slider using Slick. Slick is a responsive carousel jQuery plugin by Ken Wheeler. So on our HTML document, let's set the viewport. Add a meta tag name equals to the viewport. Next, let's add the resources we're going to use. I always use Google Fonts, so I'll be adding it. Also, we need the jQuery CDN and the Slick Minify JavaScript and CSS Resources CDN. For the Google Fonts, let's use Open Sans and Poppins Fonts. To embed the fonts, let's copy this code and paste it into our HTML head section. For the jQuery CDN, let's do a Google search for the jQuery CDN. Copy the script tag and paste. And for our Slick CDN, let's use the same. Let's use the same CDN from CDN.js. For this one, we need to add two CSS and GS files. Find and copy the slick.min.js script and the slick.min.css. Now that we're done adding the resources, let's go ahead and create the slider markup. Let's create a div with a class of container. Add a slider wrapper CSS div inside. Inside this div, add the span arrow elements. On the same div level, add add a div with a class of slider underscore inner. Instead of the of the slide wrapper, let's add an R. So it's slider underscore wrapper, some type of window. Inside the slider underscore inner div, we can now add our slide div container. This container will be the actual slide. So for this one, let's add a class of slide underscore holder. Inside this class, let's add a div with a class of slide underscore inner. The parent of slide holder is supposed to be slider inner, so let's change that. Finally, inside the slide inner, add a new div with a class of content, and then let's add some dummy content. Let's add a comment to each of the slide container. To easily find it, I'm just going to copy the class of this container and set as a comment. So for this example, let's create three slides. So let's duplicate the slide container. I'll grab and paste the dummy content on these slides real quick. Now we're done with the markup. Let's add our CSS styles.
for the container let's set a maximum width of 1200 pixels and an auto margin set the slide inner minimum height to 80 view height Let's add a background image to the slide inner div elements. As you can see they're all on each slide so we need to change the second and third slide to custom backgrounds. For the content div slide content, add a maximum width of 700 pixels, add a width background and some padding. change the heading font we're going to position the content div to the right so add a position relative to the parent of this div the slide inner on the slide content div add a position absolute right zero bottom 10% and add some subtle border edges let's also add a border edges to all of the slides some light shadow let's change the background for the second and third slides On the slide holder elements, let's add padding. I'm going to move the H2 CSS to the top just to group it with the body style. For the arrows, since this is a span element, add a display block, set a width and height of 50 pixels, add position absolute, 
I'll add a red background so we can see where it is. Then we add a background image of an arrow. Set Z index to 1 and position it from the top about maybe 45% from the top. Add a position relative to the parent of these arrows, which is the slide wrapper element. Now, let's add a specific CSS to the next and previous arrow elements. The next should be on the right and the frib to the left. I will set a negative value so it would not overlap into our slide's visible content. For the previous arrow, let's rotate it facing left. Add a padding to the slide wrapper element. Set a pointer cursor when we hover into the arrows. Let's begin adding the slick settings for this slider. Open script and jQuery document ready function. First, let's remove the black outline in CSS. The infinite setting just means we can slide to the left and right infinitely without stopping even if we are on the last slide. The slides to show is pretty literal, so how many slides you want to show? To set the arrows, set the arrow equals to true and then define the classes for the next and previous arrows. By default, it will give you a uh, next and previous buttons. But for this example, we are going to create a custom arrows that we did earlier, the span arrow elements. Instead of sliding from right to left, let's set the fade to true. 
finally let's make the arrows hide and appear when the user hovers over the slider. And then change the opacity when the user hovers over the arrows. There are a lot of slick settings you can find on the website. Just go to kinwheeler.github.io forward slash slick.